Bill, those the last couple of years we've seen uh, tons of innovation with, in the media business advertisements with regarding to clean rooms. Now we're in this post-cookie moment. Are you seeing a big shift where, where you're seeing a lot of brands bringing first party data and dollars going that, that direction or is it still a work in progress? No, I think um, the key word there is brands. I think what we saw was early adoption from you know, ad tech companies, um, from media publishers like Disney's and NBC's and, and Warner Brothers Discoveries of the world. And now I think you're seeing the brands who certainly have first party data Loyalty programs, travel brands, you know, uh, retailers, obviously, that is really starting to kind of come together. And I think, you know, that with, with brands sort of leaning in, but then also us making it easier for clean rooms to be set up and used is starting to happen significantly. Well, a, a big buzzword in retail media, in CTV, and a lot of these platforms is interoperability with that, especially all these identity changes. Where are you seeing that evolve? And maybe you could break, break, break that down between retail media and CTV and, and, and importance. Yeah. We wouldn't be at CES if we couldn't use buzzwords, right? right. So interoperability, um, I think what we're starting to kind of see is um, certainly in retail, retailers, customers of Snowflake, for example, have point of sale data in Snowflake um, because they're using it for their own supply chain efforts, right, um, in managing supply chain. Now they're starting to apply that to their media, right, and their spend, and if they can measure a CTV campaign with lift in sales, and the data is already in the platform, that, that's solving a lot of problems, right, because you're not copying and moving their own point of sale data, and they can leverage a clean room to execute sort of measurement in that non-movement way. Um, I think there's been a, a desire to have Standard, standardization and simplicity, but then everybody everybody kind of going their own direction with identity and walled gardens. Do you see that changing this year, and it come, either in the retail front or CTV? Or is yeah. that going to be? Well, listen, I mean, I think what's starting to happen, we've seen you know, our good friends at Amazon and, and um, AWS and Azure and Google. Snowflake sits across uh, all three clouds. So one form of interoperability is you keep your data in your own cloud, you can leverage our technology and you don't have to move it. But that's only just the foundation. I think you know, taking that next step further is trying to make sure that parties that are collaborating can easily set up collaboration and interoperability rules. I actually think we're going to see this year a significant amount of progress around interoperability. Um, I think on the CTV side, the interesting thing is just you know, the, the inventory is growing, we see these ad tiers in CTV growing significantly. I think then the targeting and the measurement that's coming to that you know, expansion of inventory is going to be very meaningful. Uh, can you talk to, to us about some of the work you're doing in the sports front? Yeah, yeah. Sports is interesting. Um, of course, the big media companies are also in the sports business, but they're just going through this direct-to-consumer um, evolution that the bigger media parent companies already have been through with their streaming services. So in sports, what we're seeing is leagues want to share fan data, privacy compliant fan data, with their teams. Teams want to share it with other teams in a particular league. We see merchandise companies wanting to share you know, retail data and sports with leagues and teams. And then of course here in Vegas, we've got sports betting such a big deal, growing because each state is now starting to come online and that data is now coming into the ecosystem. So sports is a, is a really big growing area for us this coming year. And I think the maturity is coming now on the heels of what we've seen in the larger media business. Lastly, you, you mentioned privacy, it's such a sort of top of mind. Do you, it seems like there's been a lot of legislation on the state side, no national law, it's, I, the industry doesn't seem to be sure what's going to happen next. Do you think we're prepared? Are most companies thinking about this? Are we in good shape? Mike, it's a great question. I think um, the short answer is um, we're getting prepared. I think one of the things, back to your very first question with brands, is these privacy teams at each of the brands are leaning in now to start to understand what the technology can do. 
So on the one side, you've got what's happening with legislation or not, right, from a federal standpoint. And then on the other side, you have technologies that are continuing to evolve. And so the more that we can educate privacy teams and legal teams to understand the technology, the more they're prepared to obviously help with consented data, management of first party data. And with cookies obviously, you know, potentially moving away, that privacy is still critically important. Technology is helping us there. So, Bill, on the subject of clean rooms, you've made a recent acquisition in that area. Can you talk about that? Yeah. Um, we acquired uh, Samuha, which is a data clean room company that um, we had invested in a year earlier, and we're super excited about it. Um, it's bringing in a number of product and engineering folks into our company, and um, one of the key goals of the acquisition is to drive this interoperability that we touched on earlier, um, and then the simplicity side of it. So how do non-technical users set up a data clean room and ease the, the friction, reduce the friction that's involved in that? So you're going to see a lot more in our roadmap. We continue to support the industry, obviously, from an ecosystem standpoint, but it enhances our infrastructure and our native application development, which Samuha is going to accelerate with clean rooms. So thank you. Yeah, we're excited.